What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're going to be checking out a game called uh, Intelligent Oobs 2 or Ioobs 2. I don't really know how to say the name of the game. That's the difficult part. But uh, it's a little strategy game, a little lightweight strategy game that's got a lot in common with things like... Oh, actually it's kind of hard to describe because it's a game where you don't have any control over your units but you build the city and then your little guys just kind of do their thing trying to destroy everything else on the map. And it ends up being a pretty... A pretty fascinating little title. I'm having fun with it, so I figured I'd invite you all in. We'll play some games. Let's go play with somebody's cubes right now. Uh, yeah, let's play versus the computer. We will go medium mode. I'm sure this will work out fine. So, welcome to the game. Uh, we are in, like, a little tropical biome right here. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop houses down in here. I gotta get some of this stuff built. So, let's go for houses. And then once all the houses are done... We'll start working on some farms. And so this is basically a battle game. If you've never... this, What does this do right here? Two times more food, but takes four times longer to build. Don't start with this. Okay. I won't start with that then. You can't... You can't make me... I would like it if little outlines of the things you're trying to build were put on the ground right here so that you could actually get stuff like organized and looking good. Where's the enemy city at? Let's go find them while we wait for all this stuff to happen. Oh, there's a little white city over here. Two white cities over there. Okay. So we'll have to watch out for that. We've got two cities over on this side, too. Basically, the goal of the game is we need to protect our little stone right here. And then we need to destroy the enemy's little stone. So go forth, little cubes. There's an enemy cube in the area. Stab him. Oh, there's an enemy cube right there, too. Oh, dude, there are enemy cubes, like, everywhere. This is not a good feeling. I don't like this at all. This is a little bit upsetting and terrifying. Go, little cubes. Do your little jiggle dance on top of your fields until we finally have food. That's what they're doing right now. You look at them. They do like a little jiggle dance. Uh, get it. Yeah. Go. Drop. Got him. There's a silverfish on my wall right now. It's interrupting my recording process. Insectoid being, please stop making me look at you. I like silverfish, though. My wife is terrified of them. But I like them. I think they're fun. I think they're enjoyable little dudes. Uh, so our house is done. That's going to increase our population cap over here on the right. And then we've also got food is the other part. And so each little individual that we get costs 25 food. When they have nothing to do, they'll idle out and they'll go just like walk around and gather food from trees and whatnot like they're doing right now. Uh, but they're basically done. We've got three fields in here at the moment. I would suggest we do some more of that. Let's go ahead and drop in a few more fields right there. Give them some more stuff to do so that we constantly have food. I'm also going to try and keep my population up and higher than the enemies right there. What are they up to? Uh, they got a farm. They got some houses. Looks like they might be getting ready for war. So it might be a decent plan. So we got four farms and a couple of houses. We are going to need a... What does this do? Build as soon as possible. Farms all around. We'll add 250 food storage. Okay. Let's do that then. Granary time! A place to put our biddles. It looks like the enemy tried to do that a lot sooner than we did. Oh, they're fighting over here. You can see them throwing little rocks at each other. Did he just murder one of my population? Little bastard. You're lucky all my dudes are Yeah, murder him back. That's how this works. Humanity, yeah, you murder me, I murder you back. Welcome to the way human history works. Uh, defense system stops, keeps busy with four of our cubes. Okay, give me a stone pit over here. The stone pit's going to give us access to later game units. And so hopefully we can get that all nice and banged out. Uh, we are getting food right now. I don't know what it's being used up on, but we've reached our population cap, which means we should be able to stack up some food pretty rapidly. They're going out and grabbing bits of tree and wood and whatnot to get that done. And then I'm going to say we get a two times, building their existing farms. Okay, so the mill's like an upgraded thing. A stronger house that resists damage. Let's go with a warrior's hut. I'm going to put in a warrior's hut right there so that we can fight a little bit better. Uh-oh, they're coming in. Somebody better go fight him. He's trying to mess with my farmer. I saw that. He was trying to mess with my farmer. Jerks. Uh, let's go over there. We'll build one of those. And then also, I want some more farms. So, like, make me as many of these as you can. Yeah, there you go. It's farm time. So the farms are getting worked on. Our population should go up once we start getting that house built. It's taking a long-ass time, though, for them to work on the barracks. And that's a little bit... Oh, you guys better slaughter that little dude. He just tried to run up on us. These dudes think they run shit. They think they run things. Oh, they are about to find out. They're about to have the worst day ever. Why is everything on fire right now? 
Oh, because everybody's fighting. Okay. We're from the Southern Tribe. There's four different armies. There's like white, blue, red, and green. I went with green because green is the superior color. Like, if you get given a color choice in life and you fail to choose green, you've messed up, man, because green is the color of Ninja Turtles. What's not to love? Dude, this world is exploding right now. Cubes are getting down in town, clown. They are doing this thing. Dude, it's like an all-out gang war in this area. This is a violent place to live. I'm a little worried for my safety. I can't imagine the housing market's too good out here. Man, it's got to be cheap to live in this neighborhood. Damn. You guys keep building, though. So we've got a barracks going. Our warriors are kind of popping off right there. We've got lots of extra food, so we should respawn about as fast as we need to. They are building farms, and we are, like, holding our borders right now, which is good, I think. I might try to do, like, a defensive tower once we got a little bit more time on our hands. I think they're spending all of their time fighting right now, like, running off enemy units and making them go away. But white appears to be everywhere right now. Holy shit. Uh, are you guys gonna build anything? Or are you guys just gonna wage war nonstop? It looks like they're waging war nonstop. Little dudes, do what you're supposed to do. Please, go back to building stuff. Oh, they are caught up in the struggle right now. But we're popping caps on everybody. Look at this shit. It's like nonstop out here. Oh, is my house on fire? That sucks. I shouldn't have done the barracks. Get rid of the barracks. I don't want that anymore. Make it go away. I should have built the fences. I messed up. Oh, I get the feeling I'm about to give this a second try. Yup, just keep busting on them. Kill their population as fast as you can. But at a certain point, you can't get anything done because you're just so busy fighting with all of them. Like, damn. Okay, so I think we're just about done with all of the Mortal Kombat we've been doing around here. Are you guys actually doing something right now? Oh, yeah, they're building a farm right there. That's probably good. Let's build some more basic houses just to get our population up. I think I let my, my population needs get outrun here. There we go. Give me a couple of houses. Do this thing. And it might be because we ran out of stone, too, so they can't get the barracks done. Yeah, just increase the population. Build houses as fast as possible. And then we'll worry about all the other stuff because I feel like we are very outnumbered right now. Oh, they have warriors and shit, too. That is not good. Come on, get my population up. Yep, get me as many of these little cubes as I can get. We gotta make up for our lack of quality with numbers. It's the Splattercat way! It's what I do on the internet, it's what I do in life. So there we go, population's back up. Start spawning in some units so that we can get in there. Yeah, buddy. Give me a few more people to fight, because they are walking carte blanche through my territory right now. And I am not feeling that. Yep, give me some more units right there. Bust on them. Bow, 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 bow. There we go, get those little cubes out of here. God, we've turned this entire planet into just like a graveyard. Like there's nothing but headstones everywhere. All right, so with 60 people, now we're getting stuff done. They're gonna increase the size over there, and once we get our warrior's barracks done, it's gonna be time, man. It's gonna be time. We're gonna ride on these cats. We're gonna go out. So the warrior unit is basically just an upgraded normal cube. Uh, he does more damage on attack and he can take more damage. That's pretty much it. What else we got going on in here? So we've got a catapult. We've got spearheads. We got knights over here. We've got a sanatorium so they can fix physical trauma. We've got gold ore, okay. And so we've got idle. We fix damaged buildings. That might be a good idea. We've also got the armor of fighting units, okay. A totem. And the forge will turn gathered stone into iron. Essential for more advanced stuff. Uh, give me some kind of like... Where's a where's a tower at? There we go. Give me like a tower right there. And then give me a tower over here. Basically, I want to get like a grid that I can defend before I go any further in. Uh, we're going to start spending food pretty rapidly once we start getting warriors up. But that's taken us a little bit of time. Hopefully the tower goes a little bit more rapidly. It looks like that just takes wood. And so I'm hoping we can defend this and keep all the little white dudes out of our territory. Because they are all over the place right now. And it concerns me. I, I don't like the volume of little white dudes all over the place. Like, look at this. Little white dudes everywhere. All over the place. Come on, little green guys. You got this. You got this, little green guys. I believe in all of you. I believe so hard right now. But it's like they're fighting with a hammer in one hand and a sword in the other. It's like never-ending war out here. Alright, so our warriors are done. Now you're going to see some lightning pop on in. And these dudes are going to get converted into guys whose only concern is expressly all they do is attack the enemy. 
that's pretty much all that warriors do is they defend the city and then they run off and they get into hype battles with the enemy and their job is just to raid and pillage and cause problems for all these little dudes over here which will buy us a tiny bit of space considering we're all right on food right now i'm gonna keep going with some more houses yup keep building them there we go a few more houses to get the population cap up and if we can keep producing warriors it looks like they are going in but our warriors got killed unfortunately so yeah the battle is gonna be it's gonna be a rough one it is gonna be a rough one I gotta keep from like capping out on all the stuff that I have too though keep building farms too many constructions in progress well I'm sorry that I like to be efficient I can't help it I'm trying to take care of business right now and the enemy is all up on me like ooh ya yeah, ya yeah. it feels terrible I want to be able to fight them but I'm not doing it very efficiently like I feel like our population is pretty solid it's just that like oh his population is pretty solid too okay keep fighting um, I don't know what our next goal should be but probably like upgrading something or doing something effective is probably the smartest idea here we are losing units faster than we are getting them because they have warriors everywhere as well. And most of our little dudes are just converting on over. I'm kind of wondering what the efficiency of like a bum rush strategy would be here. But like... I need to keep food up and running. Come on, give me some more food. The more farmers we have, the better. I think that's what I messed up is that we just need loads and loads of food. Yep, build all the things. Every farm that you put together gives us a better chance of outrunning than the population race. But facts are that it might be a little bit too late. But this game is fun though. Isn't it like fast paced? It's enjoyable. Like it's a cool little title where there's a lot of stuff going on. And when you're looking at the screen, it's just, it's crazy how many things are happening. It's almost hard to keep track of. Our little city. All right, so we're starting to get ahead in the little food race here. Did we wipe out their city over here? No, we did not. I was going to say I was hoping we wiped out their city, but I guess that we didn't. I've still got warriors all over the place. They're firing arrows at anybody that comes nearby. Extra towers would definitely smooth this over. It looks like our food production is finally allowing us to get ahead, and our population looks like it's growing. So that's what I'm going to start with right there. Uh, we got a granary right here. I'm not going to go with the granary. Let's give us... A mill. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, put a mill in right there. Maybe that'll help. You can call me the millin, because I'm that villain floating on the ceiling, banging and dilling. Doubling up on our resources is probably a really good call. What is that right there that you're building? Didn't I tell you to build that over there, though? I thought I did. Hmm. Maybe I was wrong. Come on, towers. Run them off. That tower is doing work right there. I'm glad that I put that tower in. It's being much more effective at getting shit done than a lot of the other stuff going on. And the nice thing is the frame rate is pretty seamless. Like, I expected once a lot of stuff started happening on stream or on screen that things were going to kind of fall apart a little bit as far as the frame rate goes. But things are looking good right now. That should double up our food generation. And so we should start getting food really rapidly. And so there we go. We've also got extra storage for once we start popping out new units. And if we can just get ahead of unit production, we'll be all right. So we've got the warriors. We've got pyromancers. They set houses on fire. Uh, this building consumes a lot of food. Each no pyromancer costs 100. Okay. A huge defensive system. Take care not to put too many Ayubs. It can lead to some disaster for growth. We've also got an iron forge. Okay. I will go with an iron forge over here. Sounds all right to me. And with our current population growth, I'm not going to do much else for a little bit. God, the world is just on fire over here, isn't it? It is ugly. That tower is apparently just never getting done. I think it's because they're fighting for those trees over there, and they're trying to go grab resources from that side. And it's just turning into, like, never-ending war. I do need to get some more warriors, though. Come on, spawn them on in. If I can get some iron weapons and an armory, that will allow us to increase our HP by 10%, which will be a little bit more effective at holding back the enemy. So our population is kind of growing. I still think we need more farms, so I'm going to get on on that. Uh, do a field right there. Yup, give me a couple of fields. There. 
There you go. Looks nice. That tower should be able to hold back anybody that comes from over there. I'll probably drop another tower on this side just to help out with all the fighting and debauchery and mayhem that's happening right now because believe me, there is some serious mayhem around. God. Alright. Stay to the task, amigos. Stay to the task. Never stop fighting. Never stop struggling. Do not surrender to the menace. Uh, we're almost at 140 guys, so we may want to think about further food pretty soon. It's dropping fields all over the place, and so those are not moving very rapidly, though, because they take a lot of resources. I think they got to run out to a tree in order to get those resources, and running out to the tree is going to cause us a little bit of a problem. Uh, give me another tower, like... If I could push a tower forward, I would like this a lot better. Push a tower forward right there. So we've got that field being built. They're hitting things one by one. It actually seems like they queue up and they start working on things just a little bit at a time rather than actively working on everything at once. I don't know how many cats are like lined up right now just trying to fight. But extra towers are my jam. And it seems like we're starting to make some kind of progress over here. So we got a tower right there. That's going to fill up with soldiers pretty rapidly. They should be able to hold back any enemies that come along that way. I do wish that these had better range. Is there like a tower that's more badass? We've got a mill, a barracks. What does the barracks do? Oh, it's just a house. Okay. we got pyromancers. We've got an outpost, a huge defense system. We've got an iron forge. We've got the armory over here. So once the forge is done, build me an armory too. I may just be queuing up too many things to be worked on. It looks like we're doing okay, though. Like, I feel like we're starting to push into their territory, which we actively were not doing before. Like, we're actually able to get, like, up inside their stuff. And then if you look at the split of power right now, we're at 56%, which is... All right. It's not bad. Uh, a minute ago, we were at, like, 40%. And so, if I can keep that cooking and keep that pushing on upwards so that we keep reigning in supremacy and whatnot, that's all right. But it seems like we're starting to push back a little bit, which is where I want to be at. This will increase our HP ever so slightly. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of people working on the armory right now, which is an exciting factor for me. Like, I want to see this happen before we go too much further. All right, more warriors being built over there. We're starting to get a little food surplus, too. Yeah, buddy. Start cooking out those warriors. Let's do this thing. So the armory is done. Now that the armory is done, uh, they have to stop by the armory before they go into battle, though. Okay, so I wonder if the Warriors will hit that, then come back over here. Now we should have hit Equilibrium, where I can just convert everything I have over to Warriors. And we can start hitting them really hard. I'm starting to see some casualties on the other side. It looks like they're starting to get hurt a little bit. Good. Hunt them throughout the hills. Take care of business. Don't ever stop. Let's go with a... We'll start going with some Barracks. Yeah, see where we can get those done. I'm sure they'll build them pretty rapidly. Oh, they're fighting back with actual warriors. Okay, run up on them. Go get them. And so their territory is still largely untouchable, though, to shoot their, like, sheer defensive force of size. Then again, they're not really hitting us that hard either. Come on, get those barracks done. I need hand supremacy now. I just need more people. Uh, bring in some normal houses, too. We'll drop these over here. Oh, really? I have a maximum number of houses I can have. Okay. I need a gold foundry. I also need knights. So how do I get a gold foundry? No, I need gold ore in order to get that. What does gold ore look like? I've never seen gold ore before. Uh, golden ore? Where are you, beauteous ore? I don't see anything that looks golden. So, I'm just going to say screw it and like drop it over here somewhere. Yeah, just a gold foundry. Put it on in there. You've earned it. Oops, I don't want to be like down in the trenches. I need to be up high. For I am a deity that deserves... Damn, dude. This is definitely turning into some kind of arms race. How's the barracks going? So the barracks is done. That's going to allow us to fill up on new units. Start pushing the uh, reign of supremacy over to our side. Yeah, buddy. That's the blob that I like to see right there. Dude, we got troop stacks now. 
I like this game. This is pretty fun. This is an enjoyable little title, is it not? Uh, I think that it's like it's an interesting and novel concept in that like you get the feeling that it's going to be too much to manage when you watch somebody actively playing this game. Like I was watching some YouTube videos beforehand before I started playing. And like when you're watching somebody else play it, it seems like there's a lot of stuff going on. But since like the constant push and pull of combat sort of just manages itself, you don't actually have to worry about it that much. Like you kind of just focus on building your economy and like doing stuff. And it seems to work out okay. This is going to convert stone into gold, I think. Uh, I don't know where gold is at, but hell. Improve armor. No, I don't think we need that. We've got the iron forge already. Uh, can I get knights? Each knights cost 100 food. Okay. So that's uh, probably not something we're going to be able to afford till all of our fields go in. They are working on building said fields, and we are pushing the enemy back, which I think is actually an important part of your strategy. If the enemy is all up inside your business and you're unable to, like, run them out, your little guys can't run out to the trees to get materials they need in order to build their stuff, and it turns into, like, a major problem as time goes along. However, if you can push them out of your territory, that's when you start getting access to, like, the trees that are in the vicinity, and the trees will allow you to build stuff and get things going. And so if we can get this food supply up... Uh, once you get access to all the little things that are along the periphery of your building area, uh, it seems like you start to get a slow roll going, and that slow roll picks up momentum pretty rapidly. Keep making more warriors. Keep doing your thing over there. Uh, we're still not doing incredible on food. Like, I, I really wish we could tick up food a little bit more rapidly. It says 35% of my colony is idle right now, which I don't like at all. It looks like we're getting some kind of pushback. We just lost, like, 10 units. And to what? I'm not really sure. They probably tried to run a raid on their city or something like that. Yup, keep grabbing stuff for that final field. We gotta rebuild this population, though. There we go. Got people farming. Let's maybe put in a couple more. Yeah. Just keep it cracking over here until we start to get some food supply going. Because that's what's producing all of our units right now. Uh, the number one most pivotal thing we need to do is make sure that our food supply does not get disrupted. They're done with all those farms already. Well, good for you. Nice. There we go. There's a little bit more solid of a push. Once we start capping out, we gotta get some warriors back up in here. Which is why I think we're actually like losing some of this struggle up in here. Is because... I think our warriors all got wiped at one point or another. They need to stop heading over to enemy territory. That's how they get themselves in trouble. If they would just pool up over here, I think we'd have less of a hard time. And we're almost at pop cap. I'm at cap for the buildings right now. Let's go in on a barracks, I guess. Like, whatever I've got the, the space to build... Okay, and that's the maximum for the barracks, too. So we probably want to start working on our tech tree after this. Uh, we're starting to push our population up. We're at almost 70% supremacy right now. I think that's just like a measurement of who has the biggest population, in all honesty. like I think we've got the enemy outnumbered right now, though. Let's keep it going with a few more farms. Because I don't think food production is ever a bad plan. The more meals that we can push out the happier I'll be. Oh, we're at maximum farms right now. That means I got no choice but to go in on fields. Putting in farms everywhere at the moment. Look at that food stack. Look at that beautiful food stack. Yup, send them on out. It's time for knights. Let's do the knights. Okay, so in order to get knights, I need that right there. Let's put in our knights tower right there. We're going to put it in the middle of the rest of our buildings. And oh my god, this is just turning into hectic nonsense at the moment. There's all kinds of crazy shit going on. So the barrack is getting sorted out right now. And then I guess it's building our Knight's Tower right there. Uh, food supply is good. We are almost at max cap. And so now we just need to focus on quality. Uh, what does the catapult do? So a really a catapult, a weird mechanism throwing stones. Uh, sets your enemy's tubes on fire. Okay, so it keeps busy with 10 IUs. We also need our Pyromancer's Dojo or whatever the hell it's called. The place where Pyromancers live. I don't know what the building's called. Put it over there, though, and hopefully it'll work good. And so our Knight's Tower is not quite done yet. They're still skirmishing over on that side. We're at 75% right now. you got to believe that we can push this through. Uh, if we can press into the enemy's territory a little bit more aggressively, 
and just keep clear of towers. That's the part that's really messing us up, is they've just got too many up in towers right now. Hopefully the knights and the pyromancers help out with this process. It looks like they're putting it together pretty rapidly, so... Hopefully we'll start setting shit on fire and the enemy's just gonna have to, like, deal with that. Dude, there are so many cubes here! I love this game! Like, look how busy it is! Oh my god, I love games with massive unit caps where you can have, like, loads of units running around. Makes me so happy. I love the chaos of all of it. I love how wild the whole thing stacks up. So we're producing pyromancers now. I assume that they're going to get up in here and just start throwing fires at them. So yeah, there it is. We're starting to burn down the enemy city right now, and I don't think they're going to recover from that. Nice. I would like to see different graphics for all these little guys right here, but I do think the game is in active development right now. Uh, my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for a game called I Use or Intelligent Cubes. Two. I hope you guys enjoyed the title. I think the game is a lot of fun, and if you wanted to get it, you can find it at the link down below. That's going to be the place where you can grab it. Uh, if you like what I do here on the internet, my name is Splattercat. I play indie games on the internet every single day, trying to show off the latest and greatest on whatever the indie genre is trying to pump out at the moment. If you like what I do, uh, hit that like button. It's the easiest way to support the video. Other than that, you can check out the Patreon if you wanted to support me that way, or you can just come hang out live. If you come to Twitch TV slash Splattercat Gaming. I'm live every single day at 3 o'clock Pacific time, playing all kinds of random stuff from the channel. I will see you all later. Hi to everybody.